Hey, my name is Nader Denier, coming out of Charlotte, North Carolina, fighting out of East Coast Fighter and Sore Summer Muay Thai. I'm a Lebanese American MMA. Marhaba, it's Nader Denier, one of my Arabs MMA. So, Nader, how's it going? Oh, it's going pretty good, pretty good. My, uh, my visit to Lebanon is winding down. Um, I got to come here and train at Shogun 1, Shogun 2. Uh, great appreciations to Master Sadi for letting me come here and train. And uh, I got to help Al Karaki for his fight. Good luck to him, June 15. Watch it, NBC Action. So, shout out to my boy. So, uh, how long has it been since you came here? Were you impressed by the MMA scene around? Um, you know, I was actually a little bit surprised. I was actually not expecting the amount of talent that I found here. Um, I was really impressed with Karaki. Karaki is going to be a star. Uh, really impressed with his jiu jitsu. Really impressed with the stand up I found here. Um, Shogun. Shogun's got some really good Muay Thai, and we can thank Master Sammy. And uh, I was able to referee at the first ever MMA event, and uh, that was pretty awesome. MMA is definitely getting big in the Middle East, not what I was expecting. So, how was the refing experience? Um, it was an it was an amateur MMA, but uh, I'm sure you noticed some talent there. Um, you know what? Uh, there is a good bit of talent. What I really noticed is um, Lebanon is really slacking on the ground. Jiu-Jitsu is a new, new sport in Lebanon. Um, I felt most of the fights were stand-up fights. And, um, we really have a lot of catching up to do um, concerning Jiu-Jitsu. Um, so we really need to work on that because, um, you know, in the United States and Europe and other parts of the country, they're so far ahead of us on the ground. I mean, we've got excellent, excellent stand-up, but we, need, we really need to work on the ground game here. So any plans on uh, moving here and helping the guys out? Maybe helping the MMA scene in Lebanon and the Arab region, maybe like, um, excel a little bit faster? I would actually love to take a fight here. I don't know about moving here. I would like to move down here maybe when my fighting career settles down in 15 or 16 years. So what division are you fighting in? Um, I fight at welterweight. I'm a 170 pound fighter. Yeah, we have some uh, good uh, 170 pounders here in the Arab region. I'm sure you noticed uh, Desert Force and uh, ADFC. Some good boys in there. Anyone, uh, you have anyone in mind you actually would like to fight? I don't have anybody in mind, man, but um, I want to say it. I train with the best. Shout out to um, East Coast fighter Paolo Mushu and crew James Arland for letting me train there. Source Armor and Mutai. Um, they've got Adrian A. Train Henderson. We've got Veron Moeb. We've got um, Antoine Penn, Tim Goodwin. You know, these guys are up and coming. Some of these guys have fought for Bellator, they fought for UFC. Um, I get to train under Joshua Tegan, who's my strength and co uh, conditioning coach. He's one of the best. And um, Justin Ray at Athletes Arena. Um, I'm ready to fight anybody. It doesn't matter, man. At 170, if you're going to be the best, you have to be willing to fight anybody. So bring them. So uh, it was great uh, having you here back in, in your own hometown. Maybe you should visit a little bit more often. Um, well, now your face is familiar, so. I'm sure you'll come here and it's your second home. You know how it is. Um, us fighters, we have to sacrifice. It's not easy being away from, from family, being away from your home country, man. But training there is on a different level, you know. Um, sparring partners, coaches, and everything. I have to sacrifice. It's not fun being alone. It's not fun training alone. It's not fun after training six or seven hours going home to uh, going home and not having anybody in your apartment, not having family you can talk to. But it's a sacrifice I have to make. Um, hopefully I can make that tree proud. So, <laughs> Which tree is that? That's a cedar tree right there. Cedar tree of Lebanon. Hopefully I can make that tree proud right there. <laughs> um, but you know, sacrifices are sacrifices. Um, I'm going to miss the guys here. I'm going to miss the people I train with. And like I said, June 15th, man, Karak is going to destroy that kid. Um, I don't know. I haven't watched that kid fight. I've trained with Karak and he's doing work. I gotta give a final shout out again. Um, fighters, everybody wants to say it's an individual sport. It's not. You're only as good as your teammates, as your sparring partners. So, East Coast Fighter, thank you again. Athletes Arena, Justin Ray, Oleg, my judo teacher, Aaron, my other judo teacher, um, Josh Ortegan at Athletes Arena, my strength and conditioning coach. Thank you, Sor Samrat, Nick Rodriguez, thank you for opening your doors. And a shout out to um, uh, the Roberto Travin team, thank you so much. And uh, my sponsor, Hendrix Motors, you guys are the best. Thank you for sponsoring us. Supreme Clientele Travel, thank you for sponsoring me. Warrior Mentality, I didn't forget about you guys. You guys are awesome. www.warriormentality.com. 
Right, and then we're coming for some medals and belts, baby.